Hello everyone, this is day seven with most worked with tarot deck in 2018 and why. So the deck that I chose, because I only started in April and I was buying a lot of decks, but I was all over the place trying to work with them. I, did, I, I just didn't know which to pick up first quite often. So, um, but this was a deck that I bought very early on and it is the Everyday Witch. And I, I love this deck. I'm so glad that I bought it. Um, I know Patsy from Two Past Tarot recently did a comparison between um, this deck and the Green Witch and both were on my list and I do fall into the category of because I had bought one I didn't buy the other. Well budget allowing it is still in my list and I really do want it because I know it's different but the problem for me is that I just you know there is only so many uh, decks you can afford to buy and um, I struggled uh, to decide which decks to go first with. Um, anyway, so this this particular one is for me um, wonderful uh, from the minute I got it. Um, I think I was quite anxious in the beginning. I'd come to tarot very much by chance, completely accidentally. I hadn't anticipated uh, being interested in tarot or for that matter falling down the rabbit hole and ending up wanting to collect decks because I, I didn't realize that, that this whole world existed sorry i'm trying to do a million things at once here so trying to grab a drink while i'm at it i, I edged the sides in blues and purples i don't think it's showing terribly well here a bit of a shame but um it is a lovely deck and um, I know Heather also showed this. Is that better? Where, where am I getting the best image? Uh, this deck. I think it's quite a lot of people's. Um, I don't know where I'm getting the best look for this deck. Uh, maybe. I've already done this video. When I was away, I did a whole load of videos and I... I ready to go up because I knew the minute I came home it would be it would be busy and, and I wouldn't have much time and I looked at it yesterday I couldn't get it so my laptop is um, not playing uh, ball and is gonna have to go back basically and I haven't had it very long, but it's it's yeah it's it's not doing uh, the job, and it's also got a few issues. So I'm going to be without a, a laptop, which isn't great. And um, I just got the hang of what I was doing too. But uh, where was I? So I'd done all these videos, and I couldn't get it to load last night, and I wasn't really happy with it. So I thought, right, I'll quickly do it again and um, try. Oh, this is really bad, isn't it? The light in here isn't great, I suppose. Wherever I go, actually, the light isn't great, is it? I don't seem to win. Um, but as I say, coming back to this deck, the reason why I, I was delighted with it is I was a bit on the nervous side. I really didn't expect to get into tarot and it was a bit of a shock, really, in a way that... Not only did I get into tarot, but I, I fell into it in, in such a way. I love this card. I think the imagery, the artwork is truly um, one of my absolute favourite of all. Because it is, I don't know if that's actually even focusing properly. Because all, from where I'm sitting, it looks all smudgy. And if I get to the end of this and I have to do it again, it won't be best pleased absolutely brilliant card so this took away all the the fear all the uncertainty it was a fun deck excuse my phone I should have turned it off love the, the full card and um the images stuck so whereas i was so new to it that i didn't have i didn't even know what a pip was people were talking about pips and i had absolutely no clue what that meant um, and it's funny when you look back even now and I mean as I say I haven't been doing this a year yet um, that I, I didn't have a clue uh, I didn't know what Rider Waite Smith I didn't know that there was other stars I didn't know anything about 
soft, I didn't know anything about anything. And these images, when I looked through them, I found them so easy to remember that when I was eventually sort of striding out into the big unknown, trying to learn lots of um, either different systems, because that seems to be what I end up doing. You know, I can't just stick to the straight and narrow, can I? Um, but what I do end up doing is, is seemingly picking new systems every time. But if I'd go, get a deck, or um, even if I was looking perhaps at the pip style deck, if I needed to, to try and remember what that image meant to me so far, it, it was these pictures that came into my head. Um, and I, that to me says it all. Um, what a lovely card. She's got one eye open. I used to be able to do that. I'm not sure I could get my, my leg quite as high as that, but it wasn't that long ago. I really need to get back to doing a little bit of yoga. Um, not that I'm bendy or supple or in any way f shaped that I could actually do it, but um, I, I did get the wee yoga thing and I, I did manage a little bit of that. One of my favourite cards actually. There's two in here. We haven't got to that what the second one yet. I mean, this hanged man, uh, it, hanged witch, whatever you want to call it, but it, there's just humour. Um, it's but it, it's it's done in a way that makes it it you know it's not um, silly. It's just perfect. It's really well balanced, and there's a cat in every single one. Um, and I kind of wanted to show these. I know that they've been seen by lots of people. I know that you can, you know, fast forward if you don't want to see all the images. But um, it, it is a deck that I can pick up. And although the book, I, I like the book. Now, I've, I have heard somebody say, actually, this was a card that stalked me quite a bit last year in different decks. I did hear somebody say that they didn't feel that the, the book was overly accurate, but I think that's rubbish because to be fair, if you look at any system, any book, they all vary, they all take a slightly different slant. Um, and that's the thing about tarot, it seems to be that they do have that duality. And, um, you know, there are different interpretations depending on where they are in the pack and how it feels. Um, and although I, I don't do readings for other people, um, I do occasionally have used these for my children because I think that they have the right energy for my, I mean, my kids are grown, but I think they're a bit sort of wary. My son isn't, he's like, oh yeah, get the get, cards out, give me a reading. Um, but, it, but he takes it in, in the right um, attitude that, you know, like you should do he's not frightened of it and um, but my girls you know get getting more interested in it um and i think this imagery works really well for that sort of age group in the 20s and and what have you um but it works for any age it works for me um he's got his cake and his wine <laughs> i love that um so I wanted to, so this was uh, it, the deck that I probably went to quite often because it just is one of those cards. It, it also reminds me, I suppose, of of being young when you used to get the, the magazines and the, it's almost got that sort of illustrated book imagery for me. And um, I, I just don't think you can go wrong with it. And as for whether to have it, you know, instead of having both that and the Green Witch, I would get the Green Witch. I will get the Green Witch when money allows. I like that card too. She's got all the kittens and the cats around her at the bottom and the broomstick and this fruit from the trees. I'm just, I'm really sh not sure that I'm getting the colours on here. Death is, is just incredible, isn't it? Look at that. Um, no borders. They're a nice size. And it, 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 it's such a good starting point. That's the other thing about it, is I know that there are people who are using it who are very experienced, and there are people who are using it that, like me, who are complete beginners. And I, I'm gonna be a complete beginner, I believe, until the day I die now, because 
there is no way I'm going to learn everything I need to learn. Now this is my all time favourite card. It goes on everything I can. I love this card. This is my idea of perfect heaven. I want to be sat under that gorgeous tree. I want to be snuggled up with a book and a bottle of wine. It looks Mediterranean to me. That card is everything. That is it for me. Love it. Just love it. So, yeah, it does, it does, I think, cover quite a, a span of different uses and it's a fun deck. It has a fun energy and I don't, uh, I think the book is also lovely. I think that the fact that it has, uh, you've got the colour picture, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I like the fact that it has this little little extra bit at the bottom here, this little sort of almost title. A um, bit more here to go with goes and then you've got the the things to consider. So it doesn't sort of say reversals, it just says um, things to consider, which I, I like. And um, it's it, it's even got a note page and I know some some people don't need that that's I haven't used mine actually I might have scribbled in it very early on I don't don't know if I have but yeah color pictures a lovely size book brilliant deck wonderful absolutely love it would not be without it, it was in my handbag for quite a while and probably will go back okay thanks guys see you soon bye Oh.